Fans of a nervous disposition may wish to look away now. Another day, another defeat. It just gets worse and worse for Woeful Whittle. Manager Mike Bassett is starting to experience the first murmurings of discontent. But the playful Whittle with her side, Bassett remains in combative mood. Hey, I mate, get this on film, will you? We've got a big game today, and obviously I hope we get a result. But whatever happens, this is what matters. This kid here. What's your name, son? Liam. Now, Liam's our mascot today, and this is the greatest day of his life. And how long have you been waiting, lad? No time at all. They just said turn up. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I actually support Liverpool, but there's a four-year waiting list. <laughs> Do you hear that? Four years. It's amazing, isn't it? Hey, amazing. Right, come on. Just cut out after I say it's the greatest day of his life, OK? Come on, Reynolds, get stuck in there! Let's bloody burn him! Hey, what's your language, Dodgy? There's a kid present to you. Come on! Move it! Yeah. Referee, there's another two minutes to go! 4-0 down at half-time. I'll give them a team toss they'll never forget. Come on, Ian. Bastard. Damn it. Like, shut that door. Right, you lot. You know what you are, don't you, eh? I'm going to tell you. You're an absolute... Whoa, 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 boss. Smile around your language, lad. <laughs> You're an absolute flaming disgrace. You're playing like a shower of shameless footballers and de defending, defending like the blithering idiots. For, 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 for crikey's sake, you nickwits, come on, come on, pull your fingers out of your... out of your ear hole and stop playing like a bunch of old... walruses. Walruses? Yes, walruses. Right, you heard the gaffer. Come on, let's sort it out second half. I'm sorry you've had to listen to all that, son. They deserve it, Mr Bassett. They've been playing like wankers. You know what, Bassett? You're a waste of space. Do you hear me? You're going to get your windows wrecked. Just like you wrecked our club. You better not walk down any dark alleyways, Bassett. I can't believe you've done this. I just wasn't thinking. Gary Bloody Glitch is more popular than me at the moment. You go and put my phone number in the local paper. It's also my number. I'm running a business. How else are my customers supposed to contact me? Telepathy? 36 calls. I didn't know we had that many fans left. Maybe you should get an extra line put in, boss. Oh, good idea, Dodgy. Why don't we go the whole hog and open the call centre out in India? Come on, let's wipe this lot off. Do you mind? Some of those messages are from my customers. Uh, it doesn't stop them shouting foul-mouthed abuse at me, does it? That's nothing compared to what you'll get from me if you press that delete button. All right, look, I'll, I'll go through them, but go on, you go and make a cup of tea. I don't want you listening to that lot. It'll only upset you. Of course, you know the real answer to this, don't you? I need my own premises. Love, we've been through this. Why not? The business is really taking off and I could use the nest egg to buy a bigger place on the high street. The nest egg? No, we can't touch the nest egg, love. No, no, it's for our future and for Jason and his kids. If he ever has any. I suppose you're right. More tea, Dodsey? Oh, uh, yes, please, Mrs B. I suppose you'll be stopping over again tonight, will you? Well, it's a bit of a drive back to Birkenhead, yeah. so... Boss, I thought you'd already spent the nest egg. You don't know that, Doncy. No, I, I do. You used it by Ronnie Van Needleman. You know, the, the Dutch lad. I mean, you're not supposed to know about it. It's our secret, isn't it? I'm going to pay that money back every last penny. So what she doesn't know about won't worry her. OK, right. Let's get this over with, eh? You play the messages and I'll write them down. Hey, no, don't. Don't write them down, boss. It'll only make you feel worse. The messages for Kareen. All oh, right. I wouldn't mind giving you a bit of facial treatment, Bassett. Next. We know where you live, Bassett. Next. Oh, hello, Kareem. It's Sue Wainwright. I'd just like to confirm my aromatherapy appointment for Thursday. And by the way, you're shite you are, Bassett. <laughs> now, your boss, you'll never guess who this is. That's bloody Tonka. It's Tonka, actually. <laughs> Long time no see, eh? 
He's got a blinking nave, hasn't he? Anyway, I hope you're well and stuff. And, oh, bollocks, me credit's run out like, oh, where's me pocket gone? He sounds drunk. Huh, so what's new? Look, I'll ring you, but... Shall I do 1471 ringing back? You're joking, are you? I never want to see the lion drunken Geordie again. Come on, let's get through the rest of them and speed them up, son. Master, if you don't sort this team up, why don't you show us up your arse? I'm coming round your place with an ice pick to come round for a manicure next Monday. I hope you die a slow and painful dip. Someone's just broken a window downstairs. Right. This has gone far enough. No, we should call the police. No chance, I'll handle this. Dodsy! Dodsy! What's going on, boss? Someone's broken into the house. We're going to do a Tony Martin. Start living La Vida Log? That's bloody Ricky Martin. Come on. Hey, you got him for a good night. No, boss, where Log? It's Tonka. Hey, you, boss. You're right. You twer! Uh. I'll tell you what, boss. You've got a cracking right up there. And I've been punched by a lot of people in my time, I can tell you that. <laughs> you do surprise me. Well, unless you want another demonstration, just drink up and sod off. Oh, read all. Will do. Thanks, boss. Another biscuit. Aye, can he? Sorry about the window, right? I was trying to find the doorbell. And as it turns out, the reason I couldn't find it was because it was actually the window. Just look at you, lad. You're a bloody disgrace. What's happened to you? The finest footballer of your generation, you could have been another Pelly. Yeah, or another George Best. Where did it all go wrong? It wasn't my fault, boss. I was getting my life back together. I was out in Thailand scoring goals again. Even got myself hitched to a canny little Thai lass. A Thai bride? Oh, got it from the catalogue, did you? That romantic. No, I wasn't like that, boss. I really loved her. Oh, I think we're all working out great. And then... And then you pissed it all away again, as usual. No, it wasn't my fault. This one game, I went in for this tackle, a bit heavy, right? Well, I picked on the wrong player. Turns out his brother was a big cheese in the Thai Mafia. I am telling you straight, this gangster gets me fired from the club. I'm looking to escape with my life. A gangster? In the Thai Mafia? Aye, oh, it was a real deal. Even had a finger missing an eye like they do. Oh, hang on. Isn't that the Japanese Mafia? Ah, oh, yeah, he was Japanese. So what was he doing in the Thai Mafia? Well, he'd come over under some kind of transfer deal. But his brother was Thai? Ah, oh, well, he was an adopted brother, like. <laughs> come on, Tonka, on your way. Sorry, boss, I admit it. There was no gangster. Maybe I was drinking a bit. But the club overreacted, like, they didn't give us a chance and now my wife's kicked me out and I love the boss. I'm at my wit's end. That's why I've come here. Because you're the only person I can turn to. I don't know what it is you want from me, Tonka, but the answer is no. No, oh, you don't understand. I don't want you to give me anything. I want to give you something. I'm offering to play for Will. <laughs> Have I got mug written on my forehead? No, boss, no. Please, boss, you're my only hope. I won't let you down, I promise. I'm off the bottle for good, you know, this time. Aye, finito. I'd like to believe you, lad. I really would. But I can't. Aye. Fair enough, boss. It's no less than I deserve when you think about it. And don't worry. I'll never ask you for anything again. Oh, good. You wouldn't have some money for the taxi, would you? Do you? Go on, shut up. You did the right thing, boss. Aye. Well, it's a crying shame, now, to see how far a man can fall. Oh, it was only into the flower bed. I've given that lad so many chances, you know. <laughs> Do you remember Charlie Brown? He used to play for Grimsby. No, no, the, the cartoon strip. The one with what's his name in? Um, Snoopy. Well, every week, the girl used to put a football on the ground. And then she'd ask Charlie Brown to kick it. And every week, that gullible lad used to run up, 
he would kick at the ball and she'd whip it out the way. And Charlie would end up flat on his backside. Well, I've decided I'm not going to kick that ball anymore. So, hang on, he's Tonka the ball? No, Tonka's the girl. R right, so you're the ball? No, I'm Charlie Brown. But who's Snoopy? I never mentioned Snoopy. Yes, you did. Yes, but not in the metaphor, I never, did I? Look, it's a bit early in the morning for this. The point is, I'm not falling for Tonka's lies anymore. Too right, boss. All right, all right. Uh, settle down, please. I'd like to thank you all for coming at uh, such short notice. But I would like to introduce our new signing, and I'm sure you all remember him. <laughs> How'd you get the bruise, Tonka? Champagne cork? Nah, no, the boss hit me leg. <laughs> come on now, Tonka, come on. No more porkies. Tonka, how many fingers am I holding up? One less than this, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, lads. We, we, we've had our fun. Serious questions only. Uh, Mike, bearing in mind the past, why in God's name are you taking him on again? Look, we all know the history here, and I'm sure there's some of you who are going to question my sanity. But I am convinced that the Kevin Tonkinson you see before you today is a reformed man. Oh, you know, it's like the boss said. I've grown up, I'm a loyal servant of the county now, and uh, to prove it, I've even had a world county tattoo done. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have to pay for the O. Ho, 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 hey! He's still got the old magic, eh? Oh, it's incredible, boss. He's making them look even worse than they are. There's not a lot of players can do that. Nah, but he's got to win the team over, hasn't he? You know, at the end of the day, it's all about camaraderie. <laughs> Danny camaraderie, boss. She used to play for Everton. Never mind, son. Just call the boys in. Right, lads. Enough for today. Well done, Tonke. Thanks, boss. Hey, boss, just one thing, right? I was just telling the lads what a great penalty taker you used to be. Well, I wouldn't say great. Oh, I remember in training you used to send the keeper the wrong way every time. No, nah, but that was only David Seaman. You see, it's all in the eyes. Oh, go on, show us, boss, eh? All right, last low in goal, son. Landed on your arse this time, haven't you? Signing Kevin Tonkinson, you'll bankrupt us before you even get us relegated. Don't get your arm, man. He knickers in a twist, Johnson. Tonkinson's playing for expenses only. This is not about money. This is a concept you wouldn't understand. You don't say? No. And you tell your property developing friends to stick their plans up their split level atrium. That lad is going to save this club. Just like he saved England before the Liechtenstein game, eh, Mike? Still look on the bright side. At least we can be sure of a good knees up when the club folds. Hey. Day I've had. I tell you what, I'll swing for that bloody Johnson one of these days. <laughs> hey, what you should have seen Tonka, no kid. <laughs> He's lost none of that old. Uh... Are you all right, love? You're giving Tonka another chance. I know, love. It's a risk, but I think it's a risk we're taking. Even though he let you down so badly. Oh, badly isn't the word, does it? Hey, the sod cost me the England job. All we had to do was put three past left in time. Bad enough he had to go and get slaughtered the night before the game, but he had to go and take the back four with him. Two of them ended up in jail, one in hospital, and we've never ever found a fourth fella. And yet still you're letting him back into your life? Maybe I'm a mug, but I've always believed if there's good in someone, you've got to keep looking till you find it. And if he lets you down again? Oh, that's it, it's over. You can't give people chances forever, can you? You've got to draw the line somewhere. Listen to this, Mike. Oh, I'm not another bloody death threat, love. Oh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bassett. Uh, Gareth Morris here from Northwest Building Society. 
Just wanted a quick word about the savings account. Mr. Morris was wondering why we'd withdrawn our nest egg. Oh? Is there something you want to tell me, Mike? You haven't spent it on another player, have you? Oh, Jesus Christ. That money was supposed to be for our future and for Jason and his kids. If he ever does any. I could have been Mrs. Norman Hunter, Mike. That's right. But I gave it all up for you. I'll pay it all back, love. The interest and everything. If you lie to me one more time, I'm leaving. You have to draw the line somewhere. Well, what a momentous day for Whittle County. Mike Bassett's shock signing certainly appears to have caught the fans' imagination. So you can say what you like about Tonka, but when was the last time an England player played for Whittle? Probably the last time Tonka was sober. <laughs> so positive is the fans' reaction that Tonka T-shirts are even out selling Mike Bassett voodoo dolls. So forget Germany. Forget Brazil. Look out, Wickham. Today's the day that Kevin Tonkinson takes the field as a Whittle County player. Where the hell is he? He should have been here two hours ago. Checks all the pubs, boss, and the off licenses. I will try on, but I think they've got a special offer on White Spirit. Write your lens at a minute as you're out. It's not your answer to the phone. Come on, pick it up, you Geordie get. Hey, hear that, boss? That's Tonka's ringtone. Who's it coming from? It's coming from the cupboard. Hey! All right, boss. What's this, Tonka? Peach snaps with a hit at the apricot. After all you've said? You piss, lad. Look at you, you're in a mess. It's not my fault, boss. Oh, no, it never is. It's the wife, Sushin. I don't want to hear about it, lad. You're not just drinking in the last chance saloon now. You're barred from it. But she's dead, boss. Sushin's dead. Are you trying to provoke me? <laughs> I'm telling you straight, she was hit by a car. Swerved to avoid a lava. Ha! Christ, is that the best you can do? You can't even lie properly now, can you? There are no sodden llamas in Thailand. It is scared from the local zoo. The car swerved. <laughs> Don't tell me it hit it on the zebra cross. Well, I tell you what, Tonke, I'm up to there with your snivelling lies. Oh, I have to live in the real world, not in the make-believe Tonka world, which is full of Japanese gangsters and runaway llamas. Yeah, boss, just a quick word. Just a minute. How did she die? Did it do a dance on her little head with its little llama hooves? Boss, boss, at the paper, look. Oh, shit. Oh, it's cold, man! It's supposed to be cold. Only ten minutes till kick-off, boss. I'm taking a big risk, you know. The FA get hold of this. Oh, I won't lay it down, boss. I promise. <coughs> oh. Even know if it's there, boss. It's not just the booze, it's the grief. But he wants to play dodgy. He'd rather play him pissed than the rest of them sober. Ready, boss. I'm only doing this because you told me the truth for once. I know, boss. I love you. I, I, I'm sorry about all that stuff about the uh, the llama dancing on your wife's head. It was a bit insensitive in retrospect. <laughs> Fuck!
time, mate, you know. Sorry, I forgot about that, sir. I hope the booze were good this time, boss. Now the sushin's gone, football's all I've got. I'm not about to throw that away. Uh, I believe you, sir. I love you, boy. And well, I bloody love you, too. Come here. Well done. How's he doing, boss? He's on the men, does he? Fantastic. What's, what's that on your jacket? Peach snaps with a hint of apricot. <laughs> <laughs>